We all experienced the past ourselves. We look around and we see evidence of the past all around us. All information we are creating suddenly becomes history. The past is very knowledgeable, and yet we are spending the rest of our life in the future. It almost seems like we are walking backwards into the future. My job as a business angel is to actually help to turn people around, is to help to create an understanding of what the future might hold. So today, I'd like to talk about the digital future, its trends, its opportunities, its drivers, and the things you need to know about. One is disruptive media, second one is changing music industry, and the third one is, we call it social music. And one third, that's the number of girls checking their Facebook status before they even go to the toilet. And 95, that's the amount of companies who engage in social media, who are on Facebook, who are on Twitter, because there is no digital for consumers. Products are digital. There, we live in a digitalized reality, with augmented reality. Sponsoring is becoming digital. Out of home media is becoming digital with digital screens. Print is becoming digital, not only with the Kindle or the iPad, but also with e-ink and electronic paper. TV is digital, as web TV is rising a lot, but also music is digital. So there is no digital channel at all. If you look at the innovation radar, I can tell you that there are a lot of industries which will be disrupted. Logistics, transportation, home and living, health industry, commerce, and management. And now, now I've got, got some, some questions, questions to you, and just, just make some noises if you agree. Would you wear a digital plaster to measure your health conditions? Would you monitor it on your smartphone to have the real-time insights? Would you make it public? Set. Okay, the Z stands for leadership. And who had this, the circle? I'd like to uh, mention some of the greatest moments in digital history. So I went through the timeline and I picked a couple of them, like April 3rd, 1973, when Martin Cooper, a Motorola engineer, did his first mobile phone call with some of the press people. 1975, a supercomputer cost $5 million and had the capacity of computer power as an iPhone 4. On March 15, 1985, actually the first domain was registered. And on September 17, 1998, a guy from Amazee, from Bavaria, close to where I grew up, Andy Bechtolsheim, founder of Sun, wrote the first check of 100K to Google Inc. The problem was, Google Inc. was not registered yet. So Larry Page thought, well, if the check says Google Inc., we're going to become Google Inc. So that was the start of Google. But let's not focus on the past so much. Let's look into the future. So I try to shift perspectives and to look into the digital future. I brought a couple of trends. And I'd like to start with the digital Big Bang. The next trend you have to look at and you have to keep in mind is the Internet of Things, the smart objects around us. It creates kind of a nervous system on a global level. Another big movement, which also John mentioned, is the 3D printing, hardware on demand. The 3D printers are coming down in prices dramatically. So the maker movement, actually, they're creating these maker 3D printers going down to a couple of thousand dollars or even below to have your own 3D printer. But now I'd like to jump into the social economy. What if the social media landscape we have turns into a known economy, a global economy? And the first example here I'd like to mention is Bitcoin. Last but not least, there's instant service. Service with a, with a push of a button. In Germany, we have MyTaxi. While in the US, you have Uber and other services, you can actually just push a button, you get a, you get a service. Imagine this service with a push of a button into all different kind of industries. Our visions of the future 
shape the actions today. If we change people's visions of the future, we can change the way we make decisions. Like on this conference, we can create a spark. We can drive the vision. We can cause the world to take notice. You can call John Biggs as long as you can until he writes something about you. We can implant new visions into the minds of the decision makers. We can track the progress and we can act on the results. But how much control do we really have? Come on, really. I would say less than we want, but more than we think. Thank you very much.